I challenge you to challenge these natural associations that we have because if you think about it like when you see leather you see it paired with like denim or you see leather paired with silver you see fur paired with silk you see stripes paired with denim but I want to see stripes on a silk dress you know I want to see somebody wearing dainty gold jewelry pieces with a leather motorcycle jacket do some things that are that challenge that normal expectation today we're talking about texture and wardrobe and before we get started i want to preface that this video is not a how-to but rather a discussion more of an open-ended elaboration on the idea of texture the associations that we already have about it and how we can use it to communicate our voice through the physical expression of clothing, if that makes sense. In the process of me even drafting this video, I was uncovering these patterns of how we think about textures subconsciously. So we're kind of learning this together, and I think that's really exciting. This is a more analytical way to even think about a wardrobe, but I think having this awareness is going to make you more fluent in speaking through your style voice, which is the term I'm going to use in this video, which is basically just encompassing your personal style and the message that your look is giving. This video is also in connection with another video that I previously did talking about silhouette and creating silhouette outfit molds for your body. There are four elements that I noted being essential to a wardrobe, and that's silhouette, texture, color, and energy. And we'll save the other ones for later if you guys are still interested in that. But without further ado, let's get into the topic. Texture shows up in many forms of an outfit, and that can be the fabric, that could be the jewelry material, or print or pattern of a piece if it's like polka dot camo you know it still adds a form of texture the textures that you choose to wear and the textures that you choose to pair together are overall just creating a vibe and an energy for the look and also further identifying your style voice and in our conversation about silhouette i feel like in some way you are pulled to a decision in terms of silhouette molds because you don't fully get to choose your body shape you're born with it so for example if i didn't have like any curves at all then i would have different outfit silhouettes to accentuate this other hypothetical body shape but with texture, color, and energy, I feel like you have a full range of choice. It's really whatever you want, which is very exciting. I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer. And like I was saying, with choice, you create your style voice. And what is it that you are trying to, to say with your outfit? I feel like with your style voice, we're kind of capturing this image of ourselves it's like a physical projection of ourselves and in a way you can you can take a guess of what someone's interests are depending on the way they dress like you cannot deny that interestingly enough we all speak this similar style language and have these shared associations with certain textures that are very much subconscious to us so for example leather it's very stiff it's very sturdy it's somewhat immortal because it's like it lasts forever and the vibe that it can give off is very cool badass rebellious with silk it has this like feminine undertone it's very lush it's very sleek and fancy with wool it's very hardy it's protective it's thick and it's also associated with a timing like that's a winter fabric stripes on a garment gives this like childlike feel 
And these associations can be different for each individual, but I think we could agree on a good portion of them. They're not something that we decided on our own. We just were taught it in our upbringing from just overexposure of these looks and the energy that they're already giving off. But the point is we already have this like definition, feeling, or time associated with specific textures. And I think knowing this, again, is just gonna help you be more fluent in communicating your idea to others because we do all share this internal fashion style language. So if you wanna come off as badass, you're gonna wear more leather, denim, silver, if you want to come off more fancy, you know, you're going to wear more silk, fur, or lace. If you want to come off more chic, you might find yourself wearing more linen or suede or patterns that you feel like fit that vibe. But it's even more detailed than that because leather can really give you a vibe depending on its context. So if you take a motorcycle jacket, like it's giving you badass cool but in the context of like a red leather bag it could be giving you sleek and luxurious but just the idea that like the same cut of something but with a different choice of texture can just totally alter the vibe is so sick and i think just overall that's the true takeaway from these conversations is just how there's just endless possibilities and endless choices that you can make, but through these choices is what helps you like harness your style voice and it be so personal and unique to you. Now we could go over each individual fabric, jewelry material and print and discuss what the vibes are giving, but I don't need to tell you what you already know. You already have your idea of it and i don't need to manipulate your idea of it if it's totally different then that's cool if silk actually gives you what leather gives me then whatever like it's your perspective and like i mentioned in the silhouette video i can only speak through my preferences and my experience with my wardrobe as a way to open up a way for you to think about your wardrobe so let's look at some outfits so i can break down that thought process Okay, in this outfit that was shown in my summer outfits video, I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt, these distressed shorts, sheer tights, and leather heels. And if you're looking at like the top portion of the outfit, you're like, this is very casual, everyday, simple look. But then you see the tights and you're like, wait a minute. You usually associate wearing those with dresses or skirts and a business attire or a party attire. I love that it's a little unconventional and it makes you wonder like does this even work <laughs> i feel like the overall vibe is like very elevated yet youthful fun yet still casual like relaxed i don't think the message will be received by everyone it definitely won't but that's why it's my style voice and it doesn't have to make sense to anybody but myself and when I was putting together this outfit, was I thinking about textures analytically and how pairing them together was giving off a certain message? No. But was I feeling that message as I was putting it together? Of course. If you're not channeling a vibe, then what are you even doing? You're just getting dressed, but you're not serving a look. But I like how I'm playing with these associations that we have. The sheer with the distressed denim, with the leather, and then the cotton. It's just like all these casual elements mixed with these more fancier elements. But it still like overall equates to this one whole vibe, which I think is really sick. And then with my silver rhinestone jewelry, it's another layer of just unpredictability and fun. Okay, this one I just posted recently and it's a white outfit for the most part and I love this look because the lace is such a kind of romantic 
type of texture kind of fancy kind of you know coquette i guess and the top is also like again very like kind of romantic but then i threw in the silver leather belt which is like conflicting and the silver jewelry as well i think overall is like creating this like kind of cute wholesome badass vibe together i could say the same thing about this outfit i'm wearing this baby doll like pajama lingerie vintage dress but then i'm wearing it with my black leather jacket and my leather 80s shoes i turned something that f that would feel the dress normally very kind of cutesy and lighthearted but then pairing it with the leather jacket is like making it more casual remember i paired it with this like dangling rhinestone headpiece to just kind of make the cutesy aspect a little more consistent so that the leather wasn't overshadowing it completely and then the the glasses was just that was really fun that really threw you for a loop because it didn't really go with any aspect it's very sporty it creates this end product of a vibe that i think is just kind of cool oh my god actually i had one of my subscribers they left me a message and Wait, let me find it. Okay, I had one subscriber, they left me a comment and they were describing their outfit and then they actually DM'd me and sent me a picture of their outfit and I'm gonna use it as an example because this is actually so perfect. They're wearing this super casual graphic t-shirt with these kind of like cargo shorts, the lace tights with the bows on it and then the heels. But then I think her throwing in the leather bag with it as well is like making it more sophisticated. She's like adding this level of sophistication on top of the very like casual, almost like tomboyish top and shorts, but then with the lace tights making it very fun and more fancy-ish. And then the heels, like come on, so perfect my subscribers my supporters my followers like they're the freaking best they're the coolest like you bitches know how to dress let's continue the conversation in the comments below i'm i want to hear like what you guys think about these ideas that i just brought to you i kind of take my wardrobe and i backtrack and i try to pull out like how i can even talk about texture but yeah like we already have these associations with textures and like i'm already subconsciously like pairing things together to create a vibe that's overall just a feeling when i'm getting dressed so yeah uh i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye